With Congress and Gomer announcing his bid for Attorney General of Texas, new candidates now are throwing their hats into the ring. They want to replace him. Yeah, KETK's Raina Revel spoke with one candidate who has already declared and another who says he's still on the fence. She's here now with more about what they had to say today. Raina. Neil Casey, as Congressman Gomer made his intentions known earlier this month, there's been speculation of who'll be running to replace his seat in Congress, and one of them happens to be a former staff member of the congressman. Republican candidate Aditya Atholi is seeking to represent the first congressional seat, which includes Tyler and Longview. A graduate from Rice University and a U.S. Marine, Atholi says that rather than being a lawyer or politician running for Congress, his time in the oil field makes him a roughneck for Congress. I started working in the oil field. I loved it. But then I realized how huge the disconnect was between my blue collar buddies that I grew up with in center and my buddies in the oil field and my buddies from Rice. Adding that it's not about winning another office, but the direction our country is headed right now. The reason I'm running is we have a specific practical plan to return to local self-government like we had in this country for hundreds of years and that Republicans have believed for a long, long time. Um, and I believe there's a way that we can return to that now. Allowing local communities to fix problems by themselves. Smith County Judge Nathaniel Moran also says he's exploring the possibility for Congress. Being Thanksgiving week, we're taking a week to enjoy time with family. We're focused on really the, the four F's uh, this week, faith, family, food, and football. We're going to enjoy some time together and make a final decision uh, that we'll announce next week. Judge Moran has received an outpouring of support from fellow East Texans. Just a, an enormous amount of folks have come uh, from across East Texas, strong conservative leaders that have said, if I decide to run, that they're going to be in my corner. And that's been uh, very telling to me and very important to me. Judge Moran shares that regardless of his decision, he hopes to see a strong conservative leader representing East Texas. This Northeast Texas has a long standing tradition of rugged individualism and uh, those that believe in liberty and life and uh, the values that are based in Judeo Christian ethic. And that's something that we need to continue as we look for our next leader in, in Congress. And State Representative Matt Schaefer was also considering a run for Congress, but in a social media post, he said he will be running for re election in the Texas House. In studio, Raina Revel, KTK News.